In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top five tips to improve overnight on the defensive side of the ball in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game for Madden 22, I just want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below. My commitment to you is that I'm going to be posting videos every single day for the entirety of the Madden 22 season. Now guys, we're talking about in this video about the top five ways that you can improve your defense overnight in Madden 22 as the game is about to launch. And the first tip that I have for you is to always, and really important tip here, make everything look the same. The really big important thing that most people don't understand about defense is you want to be, by you know, by, by very nature, you want to make your defense look exactly the same. So you want your cover three to look like your cover two, to look like your cover four, to look like your man coverage. You want every single coverage scheme that you're going to run to look exactly the same. And the reason why you want to do that is because it's going the, the two seconds after the ball is snapped are the most important two seconds in the entire game for a defensive player. If you're if you're trying to be successful on the defense side of the ball, you have to change your coverages and make them look exactly the same. For example, you're going to see right here that even though I'm uh, running this uh, this Mike Blitz uh, 3, you're going to see here that you see how it changed when I went to Mike Blitz O? So that is a, a little bit of a tell. So if he knows that cue, then he's going to be able to set up a man beater and be able to beat me over the top. Now right here we are actually able to get the, go ahead and get the interception, but that's kind of the idea. You need to make everything look the same. Make your man blitz look exactly the same as your zone blitz. Everything as your match coverage, your cover two looks exactly like your cover three. Everything always has to look the same. That is the number one tip. If you start doing that, and the very, really simple way to do that is simply always call press coverage. If you always call press coverage, as a general rule, pretty much every time, the defense will look identical. You don't want to use baseline, at least that's my personal opinion. But you want your coverages to always, and I mean always, look exactly the same uh, in, every single, uh, in every single formation, every single thing that you do. The second tip that I have for you is to send edge pressure with contains. What I mean by this is that contain rushes are going to be very effective, at least in the beginning of Madden 22. So if you're setting up pressure, uh, as you'll see right here, you're going to see that I'm going to send it with a contain. And what the contain is going to do, at least in Madden 22, it's not as good in Madden 21, but it will be very good in Madden 22. What you're going to see is this contains are going to really make it difficult for your offensive line to be able to pick you up. The offensive line is never, is always very skeptical uh, or, or very susceptible to being glitched out whenever you use contains. So I recommend at all stakes to pretty much always run contains, at least in the beginning of the year, because not only are they going to help against the rollout, but they're also going to help you get edge pressure, which is really, really important in this game. The third tip that I have for you is to use cover four quarters or match defenses to stop corner routes. I believe that match defenses are going to be very effective in Madden 22, and the number one reason why I think that is going to be the case is because match defense is the number one way that you can stop corner routes. So I, in my uh, in the link in the description of this video, I have a defensive encyclopedia where I actually break down every single um, zone adjustment, every single match defense, base coverage, cover, cover two, what is a Tampa two cover, what is a cover three cover, what is a cover four quarters cover, and what it does in there is actually breaks down exactly what match defense is used for okay it, it, it breaks down what match defense is used for and I'm telling you right now if you've not played the beta of Madden 22 if you've not read any of the articles you're not prepared for the game just let me tell you the number one thing that people are going to do in Madden 22 they are going to throw rollout corners I guarantee you so if you send edge pressure and you combine that with a cover four quarters coverage scheme you're going to have some success against the corner route. So I would recommend to learn the rules of the cover four quarters. We have um, in my text message membership, if you just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900, you're going to find that in my text message membership, I actually have um, a cover four quarters tutorial that literally breaks down exactly what that defense covers. So all you got to do, you can actually get that for free. Just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. That'll also, also sign you up for my text message membership. And I release free offenses and defenses every single week for the Madden 22 season into that text message membership. We just send you a text with an exclusive link that we don't share on our regular YouTube channel. It's just something very special for the text message members. So if you want to sign up for that, text the word Madden to 
The fourth tip that we have for you as far as the top five tips to improve overnight on the defensive side of the ball is to know your user responsibility on every single play. For every coverage that you run and every adjustment that you make, you need to always be very clear with yourself on what your user responsibility actually is. You don't want any confusion here. You have to know my responsibility is the middle or my responsibility is if the, if the um, route on the slot goes to a streak, that's my responsibility. One of my favorite little uh, tricks and tactics to teach people from this is from the Cover 3 Mabel um, that is so good in Madden 21. So if you take a look here at my screen, you're going to see that the Cover 3 Mabel coverage is going to dictate that I play on the left side, basically the left side hash mark. So if there's a route that goes up the seam on the left side, that is my responsibility. If there's not, then obviously I can, you know, play the underneath and come down and play drags. So let me show you my, my screen here really quick. Hopefully I'll get this off. So you see here, I'm supposed to cover this left side of the field. So if they send a vertical route over here, like 16, if 16 goes vertical, then I need to go get him. If not, then I can play the run or come down or whatever. But I have to understand what is my responsibility on every single play. It may be different depending on the play. For example, cover three Mabel, that might be my responsibility. But cover two, maybe I run cover two, and now I'm responsible for anything that goes over the top on the middle of the field. So it's just really important that you at least identify what is your user responsibility on every single play. If you can do that, you're gonna have a lot more success because you're not gonna give up as many big plays because you're gonna consistently be knowing what my responsibility actually is. So that's my one of the biggest tips, that's the fourth tip. Now the fifth tip on uh, how you can improve overnight on defense in Madden 22 is, is really the most important tip of the day and that is focus on giving up field goals as opposed to touchdowns. Uh, focus on giving up field goals as opposed to touchdowns. The reason this is such a big point is because what people oftentimes try to do is they try to basically shut people out. They try, as a defensive player, they try to stop every single thing that somebody can do. They try to stop the five yard drag and they also try to stop the 50 yard post route. And to be quite honest with you, you can't stop everything. You have to come to the table with the grips of the fact that as a defensive player, you cannot stop everything. But what you can do is you can force your opponent to have to work up and down the field and you can force your opponent to have to guess what you're doing because you're making everything look the same. Your user is doing its job on every single play and what you're doing is you're forcing your opponent to have to work up and down the field. And when they get into this area of the field, as you can see on my screen, when they get into this red zone, area of the field that is where you can really clamp down on a lot of things people like to do man coverage gets a lot tighter inside this area of the field because there's no deep routes they can't run deep posts they can't run deep crossers the zones really can cover a lot better inside the 20, 12 yard line and so what you do is you force your opponent to take field goals as opposed to touchdowns in my opinion that's the most important thing that you can do because field goals are three points closer to losing the game so recap on this the top five tips to improve your defense overnight number one make everything look the same number two send pressure with contains use contain rushes send the nickel corner off the edge with a contain maybe run like the nickel blitz two out of nickel normal and just contain rush you're going to see you're going to have a lot of success or maybe dime 146 db sting two buzz i guarantee that defense is going to work in man 22 um the third tip is to use cover four quarters to stop corner routes super important if you're getting hit with a lot of corner routes Try the cover four quarters defense. The fourth tip is to know your user responsibility on every play. Make sure that you have a definitive responsibility that you've given yourself as a user on every single play on defense. And then the last and final tip is to make sure that you are focused and 100% committed to forcing your opponent to have to work and forcing them to take field goals as opposed to touchdowns. If you can really get a good red zone defense and really force your opponent to have to work up and down the field, if they if you could hold them to three points on every drive, it's going to be very difficult for them to beat you, um, especially in next year's game, next year's game because of how effective uh, offense is going to be on next year on uh, on next year's game. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my um, my text message membership as a resource to you, just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Every single week, I will be releasing free offensive and defensive schemes for you guys completely for free, but it only goes to the people that have signed up for the text message membership. So if you want to get that access, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in Madden 22.